it's really, really excited about that. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, you, you look at... You can think that everyone's using 3D, right? Mm -hmm. But they don't. You know, yeah. right? you don't. There's a lot of 2D legacy data that is workflows that are actually based on 2D layouts. Very large so assemblies. Of large also assemblies doing, yeah. into 2D, right? So, so, so the challenge, you know, we have the now and then all our competitors as well is, you know, how do you interact with this in an inefficient way? So, you know, simple things is... Um, but anyway, you have you have some some geometry where you want to delete. Um, you know, you got a simple geometry you know, something. You got two curves coming like this. You got another curve, but um, you know, if you delete this curve, what do you expect going to happen to the geometry? So you know, in in, in any CAD system, you know, you can end up with two curves like yeah. this, and you have to patch it up right mm -hmm. with synchronous two D, um, exactly like you would expect in in using synchronous in 3D, these lines are going to get extended and they're going to and they connect, connect right? Mm -hmm. And it, it, it doesn't matter if the, the sketch is fully constrained or not. So, you know, you have, you know, other examples, you got some simple stuff like, you know, you got holes, you got mm -hmm. maybe something else, you know, maybe a cutout. You know, it, it, it means that even when you are starting to work with the sketches, it's going to help you also to complete all the geometry. Starting, for example, well, you wouldn't, with you, two, you, yeah. two lines. Uh, so you can start with lines. Line. Yeah, so it, it's not a tool to create geometry, mm -hmm. it's a tool to, to work with. edit and work and modify geometry, yeah. right? So if you, got, if you got things, you know, something like that simple, you know, maybe it's constrained or not. You know, you, you, you might have a dimension driving, you know, the holes. But you know, if, if you start editing just the dimension, you would, in this case, move the hole from the out there somewhere, right? If you use the, the synchronous 2D commands, exactly like in 3D, you can start dragging this along and you, you're gonna, you know, get mm -hmm. this result instead, and the dimension will update. Any, any applied constraints. Will so this is well. almost exactly like it works in 3D? Yeah, you know, if you got, uh, you know, a hole with a couple of ribs sitting on the side, you, you can grab, you know, one of these, just rotate it into a new position. You can grab all of them, just clock them to whatever position you want. So, so you're not locked in to actually, you know, start grouping stuff, maybe adding a lot of strange constraints and dimensions to try to drive it and do the changes you want. That's why we, we you know, depending on geometry and what, what it is, you know, you're gonna speed up the process no matter how simplistic or how complex it is. Another thing we do is that any of these synchronous to the edits and changes is just done locally, exactly like we do in 3D. So it doesn't look at the whole, you know, to the drawing or the layout that you have, which helps us, you know, if you have massive drawings and so on. You know, you're gonna do a local change, but you're gonna make sure, even if it's very complex with loads of geometry, you know, you're gonna end up with an end result that you will expect as a user. And we also carry it over a lot of the intelligence that we have on the 3D side. So you look at symmetry, uh, you know, parallel stuff, or whatever, and then we pick up those curves that you know needs to be picked up. To, uh, you, you, when you sit down on gym gym session, you know, mm -hmm. in, in a while you're gonna see examples of this. And even when you work with very large assemblies, you know, 2D layout assemblies, which you have, um, you know. Parts that might interconnect, so you know you got something like, with a hole, and you got another part coming from this side, right? And maybe you have that dimensions and constraints. Mm -hmm. And what you can do, you can just grab hold of this and start moving it, you know, and it will stretch, update, retrain. All the connection, all the, yes. all the assembly is yes. so you know, in 3D. In, uh, in, in 2D, 2D yes. we are still so, in you 2D. Know, so something like sure. this is very complex, right? Uh -huh. It's starting to get complex. Simple things like um, you have a pocket with radius on. You get a pocket like this, you got a radius. Uh, so yes, you could do offset right to do it smaller or bigger. But at some point when you drag it and do it smaller, you're gonna have sharp corners. If you drag it out, depending on how you want it to behave, you can get you know a large radius so you can maintain the radius as well. But the, the thing is that you, you pick one line, it will pick up the that will bond the boundary and then just drag it in or out. Like way. in like uh, ed uh, edges editing ed ed edition in uh, yeah. 3D. Exactly. So, so, <laughs> so, so you know we got in, in uh, 
in 3D we got you know face finder, mm -hmm. in 2D we got curve finder, mm -hmm. so you can find you know, symmetry, whatever, or, you know, typical all, all the different sizes of hole, whatever it might be. So you have all the kind of filtering possibilities as well. So you as a, as a, as a user can control the behavior of it. But the key is that even if you have a really messy 2D drawing from DXF5, whatever it might be, the beam, you, you can make these changes it's very, very easy. And, uh, you know, it might look like magic, but, sure. it, but it's not. It looks like you got a real powerful tool, 2D tool. Yeah, and that's really, you know, the, the, you know we're, we're always pushing, we know not everyone's going to have NX, right? Not everyone's going to have uh, whatever CAD system they're going to have, multiple CAD systems going to have data from the multiple you know, the story data they can reuse so they work with suppliers and there. So now no matter if it's 3D data or if it's 2D data, I have extremely powerful tools to kind of deal with that situation. Any chance to get uh, NX 2D drafting? Like solid touch 2D drafting? Uh, we do have, a, we have we we have a, an NX power drafting that you can purchase as a standalone drafting seat. Uh, and this is part of that as well. So.